went from condos to pops house on calls now bus routes and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out let's go on and you know let's start from the uh beginning and, and, and kind of like you know read into this a little bit so this is when cassie when it first came out when cassie accused you know uh p diddy aka sean diddy combs of all type of stuff, you know, uh, sex, sex trafficking, man, the sex trafficking thing, that, that, that kind of. I know, was that, that even I'm like, his or, girl? Like, it, it, How do you <laughs> let your girl sleep with random men, random sex uh, workers? I don't know. A lot of this stuff was kind of like it's, it's, it's hard to believe, but the if you're gonna detail it like that, it's hard not to believe it too. Yeah, you know, no, but it's she just crazy. happened to her. Yeah, so. she was. Yeah. All right, so a uh, singer and actress Cassie has filed. This is and and look, we start from the beginning, everybody. So. We're going to break it down. So singer and actress uh, Cassie has filed a lawsuit against ex-boyfriend Sean Diddy Combs, accusing him of sex trafficking and sexual assault according to court documents. Cassie, whose real name is Cassandra Ventura, alleges in the filing that she was trafficked, graped, and viciously beaten by Combs during the course of their relationship. Wow. After years in silence and darkness, I am finally ready to tell my story and to speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships, Ventura said in a statement. With the expiration of New York's Adult Supervisors Act fast approaching, it became clear that this was an opportunity to speak up about the trauma I have experienced and that I will be recovering from for the rest of my life. Combs attorney Ben Braffman issued a statement on his client's behalf saying the rapper vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations. For the past six months, Mr. Combs has been subjected to Ms. Ventura's persistent demand of 30 million under the threat of writing a damaging book about their relationship, which was unequivocally rejected as blatant blackmail. Braffman's statement said, despite withdrawing her initial threats, Ms. Ventura has now res resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation and seeking a payday. According to the complaint, Ventura claimed the abuse began when she entered into a professional and sexual relationship with Combs when she was 19 and he was 37. After signing her to his label, Bad Boy Records, she alleged that Combs lured her into an ostentatious, fast-paced, and drug-fueled lifestyle and into a romance relationship with him, her boss, one of the most powerful men in the entertainment industry and a vicious, cruel, and controlling man nearly two decades her senior according to the court filings ventura alleges combs graped miss ventura in her own home after she tried to leave often punched beat kicked and stomped on miss ventura resulting in bruises burst lips black eyes and bleeding blew up a man's car after he learned that he was romantically interested in miss ventura that was some um, kid cutting mm -hmm. forced miss ventura to engage in sexual acts with male sex workers while masturbating and filming the encounters ran out of his apartment with firearm in pursuit of a rival industry executive who he learned was nearby demand and he's talking about suge knight with that demanded that miss ventura carry his firearm in her purse just to make her uncomfortable and demonstrate how dangerous he is and introduced Miss Ventura to a lifestyle of excessive, excessive alcohol and substance abuse and required her to procure illicit prescriptions to satisfy his own addictions. Mm. Wow. As for why she's, I'm going to say this and we're going to talk about yeah. it. As for why she is filing now, Ventura said in the court document that the harm she has allegedly experienced at the hands of Combs will forever haunt her. And that she has required intensive medical and psychological care to recover mm. from trauma she lived through. And that she cannot continue to live in silence about what she endured. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. That's, that's, that's okay. The I've never read nothing like that before. I can't even like, R. Kelly's wasn't like, the, right. the ones that I was talking about, it wasn't like that. I've never read nothing like that before. That's massive manipulation. And she was so young. And, and now that kind of makes us believe maybe he did have something to do with the whole Pac thing that he was trying to put on him. You blowing up people's cars over a woman, you know, and he's been on top and everybody in his circle either lost a record deal, careers went to the ground, now Cassie's saying you've been raping or graping and abusing her the whole time they was together. Yeah. Even her shaving her head. Jock said he was there when he told her, you need facts. to shave your head. He was like, wait, you gonna do that for us? She said, facts. anything did he want? So, I mean... 
I think she's telling the 100% truth. I mean, I don't even feel like she exaggerated it. I think her husband probably has been telling her, like, you should step out. You should come forward. I mean, he probably need the money, too, though. But um, he probably was like. Who don't need 30 yeah, mil? Yeah, exactly. Plus. He probably like, man, babe, you better get that man for doing all that to you. And she's probably trauma every day. She's a mom now. And I believe it. Yeah, man, I yeah. believe everything. Did he? He. And then his whole reversal of who he is. Oh, I'm love now and giving them their records back. He's probably doing some real soul searching, trying to change. Yeah. But your past and karma is always going to catch up it's with always you. always going to catch up, you know. You so know, that's you what I think is yourself. happening now. Exactly. Yeah. You can't run for, you can't, you can't hold people back that long. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Lauren Hill said it best in Lost One. And what's her song? Um, Which one? You just lost one. Oh yeah. She yeah, said yeah. everything you like, everything you did, everything's gonna come to light. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I think is happening right now. And if you've seen the pictures of Diddy, he was looking stressed when that came out. He solved it in one day. He did it. Wow. wow. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this was a sad situation. I mean, first and foremost, just to see that diddy was a part of this you know when it comes down to it i'm tired of seeing like our, our 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 black heroes and individuals who we saw come from so far to be successful and, and, and inspire others I, I'm, I'm tired of seeing these type of situations with those individuals so it was it was kind of hard at first to like really be like yeah. dang now diddy you know we just have yeah. to go through this with r kelly and r kelly yeah. is like I, I ain't gonna lie i'm talking about eight years five six seven years old right. you know we was Listening to R. Kelly, get, got a little karaoke out machine out, redoing songs off of his beats. Like right. these are individuals who we grew up loving, and and emulating, and wanting to you know right. uh, be like yeah. you know and everything like that. So it was disappointing hearing all of this. But I got to be real, I'm a I'm a dude that I always say this: any man that will ever put his hand on a woman, knowing your strength as a man, to me, is the biggest bitch. Yeah, on this planet Earth, I got no respect, and you know I be trying not to cut. You know I be trying to keep it low key when yeah. it come down to the show. But you a bitch <laughs> if you put your hands on a woman, and, and in this type of way, mm -hmm. you a bigger bitch. Right. Like I'm sorry, I got no respect for a man who go to these levels and limits. I don't care if you even you know hit a woman one time. Oh, that was on accident. I, look, I've been in many situations where mm -hmm. I could have just off a reflex to where I had to catch myself. I ain't yeah. gonna lie a couple of times yeah. that I had to catch myself, <laughs> but, I, but I know what I was doing. Yeah. So I'm looking at men who do things like this when it yeah. comes down to being physical with a woman that yeah. especially men who I'm like, I've never saw you do any of these things to a man yeah. that I'm sorry, but I just don't respect. Right. I can't respect. I lost so much respect from, I don't know what happened. And of course we got to, you know, see what happened and, and, you know, and everything like that. But just hearing about this situation yeah. made me lose respect for Diddy. I know. Just hearing it because I'm like, it's no way that someone could detail everything step by step like this and That'd get confirmation lying. from the Kid Cuddies, the yeah. Wale's, yeah. the Jocks and all of them get confirmation. Mm -hmm. Nobody yet has sat there and said, Nah, I don't, she lying. I yeah. didn't hear that. I didn't yeah. see that. Mm -hmm. She making that up. Nobody have done that. Yep. So to to also get confirmation on top of it from these individuals, it just made me just automatically lose respect for Diddy. Mm -hmm. And I hate that I have to lose respect for Diddy. Right. I hate that. Right. It made me mad. Like, damn. Yeah. We, 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 we supposed to be... You know, uh, 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 loving individuals like you, like, man, you made it. You you opened up doors. You yeah. gave people the way and opportunity. Yeah. You know, it's millions of individuals yeah. that come from us that have an opportunity out there because of what you built. Yeah. yeah. And you just took all of that away yeah. from so many people. Yeah. You well, know what man, I'm saying? Well, so it's, so it saying. sucks. It, it, it sucks, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, it 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 just hurt it. It made me very furious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm sorry, and and I want and I want to put that out there, and I want people to know that straight up, like real talk. I'm sorry, but I don't give a crap what type of situation mm -hmm. it is. Any man right off top that ever put yeah. his hands on a woman, I'm sorry, I can't fuck with you. I'm yeah. not gonna say nothing, covering up for you. I'm not yeah. doing none of that. I'm not ever doing that. I'm not ever gonna stand in that place. Yeah. Situations that I get on when it come down to. You know, being there for men and standing up for men are situations yeah. that I'm like, okay, what did he do to deserve that? 
Right, you know, right. men ended up in court because of the situation. They trying to be fathers, but they they right. can't. And now they in this bad situation, right. or they now got yeah. child support on them that that's overly too much, or yeah. or now they going to court losing their money that they worked hard for. Those are situations I'm like, nah, that's messed up. Right. But when you physically putting your hands on a woman, yeah, I don't care what she did it in Cassie Cash, she ain't did shit. Right. She's just right. trying to be with you. Right. She just love you and all that. Yeah. And what you providing for her? Right. Sex trafficking for real? I know. But but Nigga, you a bum. I, I, Sex trafficking for real. I'm talking about even with money. I don't care. You a yeah. bum. You know, and, and it's a lot of people out there. But why was I, look, he, look, I'm sorry. Even if I'm in an industry, yeah. straight up, I'm sorry. It's so many dudes out there. I got respect for academics. Academics, nothing but respect, because he's the only one talking about this shit. Yeah. That's a man in the industry. Right. You know, you see a lot of women here and there, some of them, in the yeah. media space saying stuff. Yeah. Not really in the industry, because you know a lot of these women mess with Puff. Yeah. Not yeah. in a not in not a like physical yeah, way, no, but have relationships, relationships with them. Yeah. You ain't heard none of them say anything. You know, but Ak was one of them who stood up, stood yeah, ten toes yeah. down and said something. Yeah. I got no respect for a lot of these dudes out here that's in a media space not saying nothing. I don't care. Right. I'm sorry. 